before you can learn the triple jump or even the strength part of long jump, I feel that bounding is very important. It helps create the push element when it comes to long jump. It helps create the position element when it comes to the triple jump. And understanding these concepts is very important. Now, when you're teaching it, my perception is when you break things down into each individual section, it's easier to learn the whole thing. Kind of like when you puzzle a um, piece of puzzle together, it starts in its individual pieces, then it all of a sudden makes this beautiful picture. Now, when you're coaching high schoolers, it's easier in a sense when it comes to having them find the motions and movements. Because once you set the motor skill, they're physically strong enough to be able to support whatever you're having them do. When it goes to the younger athletes, nothing changes. The only difference is you have to be patient because for them, they may have a quicker response when it comes to motor skills if you teach it right, but they physically can't do certain things. So you have to just understand that this is their first time trying it, let them go through the motions, and if they're understanding the positions and the motor skills connect, then you're set. Here is my track club's first bounding practice and how we progressed. The speed I just did is the exact speed I want to see you today. First group, go. Swing the back leg. Keep the back leg straight. Swing up to a box. Knees should be like on a higher. Oh, okay. The next group, go. So again, if you're landing on your toe, that means you're going too high or too far. Slow it down, jump a little less. Go. Other leg. Go. Where are you going when you're ready? So not your knee, swing your ankle. Your ankle leads a swing. There. Motion going without the actual stopping. What I want to see is that your heavy point, this back leg, the back leg has to be down already. It has to be in the motions of once you land and you load your actual weight, it's down. Just like a pendulum. This is a pendulum like those balls that hang and then one ball comes across and it hits and it'll Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Newton's cradle. Newton's cradle. Very similar to that. So your, the balls would be like your arms and your legs. So when I'm back here, these two, my arms and my leg, is going to be what swings me through. So I want to see continuous swing. Opposite leg and opposite arm goes forward. Yes. You can go both arms. Everyone else is single arm. <coughs> All the way down. There you go, Joe. Next group, go. Sweep, sweep the back leg. Olivia, come on back. <laughs> go. Go ahead, Valerie. Good. Go. So your your back leg is too bendy and need it straighter, okay? Up, up, high, up. You gotta jump. I didn't, but go back. You gotta you gotta jump upwards. Gotta get your height. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Better. So it's kind of hard for her to breathe or something. Um, then she just slows down and goes to jumble run. Okay. On your toes. How many steps did I have? I didn't count, I'm sorry. Good. Okay, up tall. Heel, 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 heel. So now you're gonna be, so no, you did it right. The problem now is, um, one second. 
So the, the problem now is you're, you're going down versus pulling. The pull is what helps you move horizontally. Okay. Yeah. Uh,